jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hello, hello to you guys. My name is Madam Joyce. And my name is Victor Kunda. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is down. down. In, in the, the DMs, DMs at BuzzFeed.com. It's the way we've turned the email into the title of into the, the show. Title. They're going to be like, what is BuzzFeed.com? <laughs> Guys, you have emailed, you have called. Some of you actually called my phone. And we have real, real dilemmas for you. Even though it's Christmas, you guys did not hold back. You guys don't even rest on the holidays. They don't <laughs> even rest on the holidays. But before we do, before we do, we need to give you guys a disclaimer. Yeah. We are not actually qualified psychiatrists, you know, scientists, doctors, or lawyers. No. So please do take whatever we say with a pinch, a tablespoon, a ton of salt. And of course, always seek specialist advice. Ready Let's for the start first one? with the first card. My boyfriend's lack on trying is making my mental health worse than it already is. He only cleans up if I help him to. He works part-time and instead of using extra time, he has to walk our dogs or tidy the house. He just plays on his Xbox. We don't do anything together. He eats before I get home from work. He watches Netflix by himself in the bedroom. It's like he doesn't even want me to be around. It's just like he's not in this relationship because he tells me if he was alone, he wouldn't have someone complaining all the time about his flaws. I know you will always say to break up with him, but honestly, I just want advice on how I can communicate this okay. all to him without him getting defensive. When I just want a happy life with him, Christ Lord, that's a lot, isn't it? Oh, uh, that's, that's, yeah. I was waving it at first because, you know, some people in this savage world would just be like, ah, oh, you have nothing going for you right now, you know, you're just lazy and I just, you know, I want to be with someone with ambition, which mm -hmm. is fine. Yeah. However, if her, the advice she wants is how to communicate it to him in a way that even annoyed him. me. Why? That even she put this she put a disclaimer for us basically. Don't tell me you're gonna break up with him. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving. I'm a stick beside him. That's my man, and I'm a stick beside him. So she wants she wants to sit she wants to sit in fire. That's her business. But talk to him about it. Have the conversation. Baby, are you okay? Because this could also be borderline depression. Yeah. So. At the same time, she needs to just go on the angle of, darling, are you okay? I've noticed this and this and this. Mm. You can also even just say us. You know, I feel like it's affecting us. Oh, yeah. well, the red flags are shouting. Mm. The red flags are screaming. But she clearly doesn't want to leave him. She still doesn't want to. Then the conversation needs him. to be, babe. I feel like you don't want me around you. I think I maybe, feel like you don't even like me as a person. Maybe she should advise counselling or therapy. Our relationship needs therapy. What'd I do? You're too fine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. To be honest, you should literally just leave. Honestly, or, seriously. Or just have the conversation with him. I feel like you don't want me around you. Then off of that reaction, will you know how to go about Navigate. the situation. But yeah, I still stay leave. Let's get on to the next dilemma. Oh, this one is bad. I love my boyfriend, but he gives me the ick. Oh no. Recently, my boyfriend got a job at my friend's workplace. She called me saying my boyfriend has been saying weird things about me. She said he's obsessed with me. He always talks about how much he loves me and somehow makes every conversation about me. It's embarrassing. Sometimes he says cringy things at home, but I didn't know he acts like this when I'm not around. He's giving me a big ache. Am I a bad person if I break up with him? How do we feel? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, that would give me the ache as well. Yeah, it, it just depends on your love language, really, because unless it is literal like weird stuff where it's like, mm, 
But if he's just talking Showing about affection how much love. he loves you. Yeah. It's that, that's a personality difference. Because there's some people that love all that mushy, mushy, gooey, gooey stuff. And some people are a bit more like, nah, you ain't about to do all that. I'm a thug. <laughs> You can even tell by from the verbiage that she's using where she started off with, he's been saying weird things about me. Yeah, like she someone said, of, he yeah. said he's obsessed with me. He talks about how much he loves me. Your 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 one person is obsessed with you. Yeah. Am I a bad person if I break up with him? No. I don't think what he's doing is wrong. Mm. I know a lot of women <laughs> myself, would love someone to, to be that engrossed into them passionately but some girlies are not like that so you need to be compatible in that sense and if you're not then sister girl's right she needs to kind of separate she needs to it go. she needs to go because i like mushy mushy gooey gooey i want to give her a red flag just because this kind of shit would That's hurt my, my feelings and you don't like him you don't like him my girlfriend has cheated on me a couple of times in the past and I've tried to move past it because I'm so in love with her. But it makes me so insecure. Every time I see her phone, it's on notifications from guys on Snap. And I don't want to act like a jealous boyfriend, but I find it really hard to trust her. She openly mentions new guy friends she meets and it makes me so upset. But I thought I can't say anything because I'm supposed to have moved on from the cheating. We're also only having sex once a month which I know happens in relationships, but I can't help feeling it's because she's sleeping with somebody else again. I want to be able to trust her and go back to normal, but I don't know what to do here. No, actually, I'm giving it to both of them. Why? Mostly the girl, she cheated, but he decided to take her back. And now he's like blaming he her. Of course he's not wrong. Like, trust does get broken when someone is being cheated on. And knowing that he hasn't forgiven her, every little thing that she does, if she's innocent, is just gonna be questioned. And it's not healthy for either of them to be constantly feeling like someone is cheating. But then again, you can't blame him because she's broke the trust in the past. Yeah, some people don't see their lives without people, even if that person has done them wrong. Yeah, if she loves him and she wants to prove to him that he can trust her again, maybe have the phone unlocked just so that he knows that she's serious about rebuilding that trust. She could still be cheating. And it's the fact that it gets to a point where she's doing it because she knows he won't leave her. Yes. After one, you become serial. Yeah. It's no longer a mistake, it's mm -hmm. no longer, like, you would cheat hurting the person that you're supposed to love yeah. rather than leaving the situation. Mm -hmm. If she's still cheating, then y'all, you a bitch. You a bitch. You a bitch. You a dumbass bitch. You a bitch. <sighs> Victor, that was the last of the dilemmas. Yeah, I just feel like we need a minute silence. We need a minute silence. Call that, guys, if you want us back in 2023. Make sure you like, comment, follow, subscribe, you know and vibe. also email down, down in, in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Yeah, down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Let them know. Down in the DMs at BuzzFeed.com. Ooh. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, see you Merry soon. Merry Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.